This was the article. This was the story. Average U.S. price tops $4 a gallon for first time since 2008, and it could go even higher. It's Less still- than 24 hours later, boom. Gas prices hit new all-time U.S. record at 4.11 per gallon. Right now, we're at the top of the inflation. Like gas now is historically the most expensive it's ever been when you take inflation into account. So the middle class and everyone below that, they are now maxing out their budget for fuel to you know for the for the month. When that goes to six dollars a gallon. It's going to start cutting into their food and other bills, yeah. and it, you're going. To, it's going to get incredibly ugly for everyone. All right, so pay attention to that because once it gets to six bucks a gallon, then all of the stuff that's trucked in and and whatever to so your food, your water, your drinks, you know, the the midget touching your penis, whatever, <laughs> they're coming in via a truck. Midget fisting Blakey. Chase. So guess what? Now now they have to pay for all that gas, and it's just going to get passed on to the consumer. Yep. So guess what? Uh, you're going to have a hard time heating your house, driving around, and you're certainly not going to be able to juggle f- the midgets because it's too expensive. <laughs> gas prices went up 10 cents since this morning. Uh-huh. Uh, ice cream socials have consequences. Stolen ice cream socials have catastrophic consequences. I got something to say. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All of you leftoid, commie, pinko, faggot, Democrat, socialist motherfuckers out there who stole the ice cream social and didn't like Orange Man because he's bad, I hope you fucking enjoy the bullshit that you fucking brought on, and I hope you fucking suffer, fuckers. All right. Like I said, have have you ever seen 81 million people go from being so happy to being so fucking quiet? Mm-hmm. What gas is ten dollars a gallon? It, yeah. That's gonna be pretty much the yeah. breaking point. And, and when forty million of those people are dead, I mean that probably helps with the whole quiet yeah, yeah. thing. Yeah. I don't think really think they're gonna be stirring the pot anytime soon. Just mm. saying. And, and then there was that one who's like a hundred and one year old woman who's been in a who's been bedridden, hasn't left or Her been conscious of anything. Yeah, yeah. I, I, and somehow she uh, delivered a scoop of ice cream. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've I've read that story. It's good times. Yeah, yeah. And then oh, no, 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 there was no. a guy that uh, supposedly filled out the ice cream social forms who was in a coma for four years. Yeah, nothing to see here. No, nothing to see here. That right. that's a conspiracy theory. Gotcha. Conspiracy theory. But, oh, hang on. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, as we all know, we said it before, the only difference between a conspiracy theory and reality is about three to five months. Yeah. And, or if you're Donald Trump, uh, every f***ing time you open your mouth, Nostra Donald, Trump predicted in 2020 that gas under Biden would rise to 7 8 and $9, and we're well on our way. If you guys haven't seen the clip, let's check it out. We have more oil than anybody. Boomer moment. Okay, and it's uh, an incredible thing that it's happened over the last few years. A lot of great things. And you're paying, what, $2 a gallon for your gasoline? That's okay. You know what that's like? That's like a tax cut. That's bigger than a tax cut. If Biden got in, you'd be paying $7, $8, $9. Didn't they say, get rid of your car? Prices at some local gas stations, they're way above the average. Well, across the street from the Beverly Center, one of the most expensive places in L.A., drivers are paying this. In LA. Nearly $7 for regular unleaded, nearly $8 for premium. Drivers said they were surprised and not in Are you su- You're really? Really? A bunch of California stand liberals getting taxed within an inch of their lives. You're surprised? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. And I hope you get what you fucking deserve. All right. Uh, we need that meme from Joker. You get what you fucking deserve. Yeah. Mm. And, and of course, what did he say at the very end there? They say get rid of your car. Mm-hmm. Booty judge basically said the exact same shit today. I don't have that video, but oh my lanta, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> yeah, that whole Buddha judge, that guy is really annoying me. Yeah, well, we can't, we can't reopen Keystone. That's not going to help fast enough. But you know what we can do? We're going to invest in green energy because that's totally going to help right now. 
No, it's not. <laughs> People don't talk about this, and leftoids don't understand it because they don't understand economics. Consumer confidence and speculation are two of the main things that drive an economy. So if Biden were to come out and t- tomorrow and say, look, I f***ed up. We're going we're gonna to deregulate the oil industry. We're going to reopen Keystone. I'm sorry. Prices would, would have a precipitous drop almost immediately, and it would continue to drop because it would renew consumer confidence and speculation would drive those prices down. Futures it's, market would just do its magic. Yeah. Yep. And right now it's doing the magic against us. That's, that's, the, that's the thing that really blows. Yeah. Well, as soon as he took office, things started taking a sh- because people knew that he was not going to run this country well. well. He's not even running the country. No, he's not. There are so many hands up his ass. He's a sock puppet for I don't even know who. Ugh. And this is, this. we're going back to Ukraine mm-hmm. on this one. This is hilarious. Right, here we go. Here we go. Jen Psaki was asked why we are still importing Russian oil as it finances their war effort. Her answer, well, it's only about 10% of what we're importing. Okay. I- I'm going to I'm gonna do a pop here just for a second. There we go. In case you didn't know, that's bad. We used to be the net exporter of oil, completely energy self-sufficient, and we had more than enough to go around to all the other countries. And what were we paying? Buck fifty a gallon, buck sixty a gallon. All of that changed in less than a year because of deregulating the, because of re-regulating all of those regulations that Trump pulled out. Ugh. They just added something too, actually, with uh, I guess with the way they ship natural gas. Uh huh. They just added new requirements. Like before, you could ship natural gas, you know, by boat, whatever. Um, the, there's new rules on that, so it's harder. Uh-huh. So, so things you used to be able to do with natural gas, you can't do anymore. Yeah. More yeah. hoops of fire to jump. Yeah, yes. it's good stuff. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, because we got to have the green lefties on our side in the elections. You already lost them when you denied their student loan forgiveness. I am so sick and tired of this. This is not going to do a damn thing. I am so sick and tired of those crybaby leftoids who have no shit. idea how the real world works. Listen, if you fall out of a vagina or if you're born here... In any way, shape, or form, guess what? Nothing is fucking free, and everything requires effort to live. Yep. And you sitting around going, well, they should be taking care of me. I shouldn't have to do that. <laughs> Forgive me for my mistakes. Pay my f- Shut the hell up! <laughs> God damn it. How pathetic is this administration? Seriously. I mean, we know that the guy in charge is not even really the guy in charge. And when he directly causes a problem and we're financing it on both sides, we're going to get to that in just a minute. He could easily alleviate the problem if he wasn't trying to cater to a voting base that already doesn't give a f- that he even exists. Instead, we're going to import more, more oil from the Iranians. Yay! That's yeah, that's exactly what we need. Yeah. White House rejects the idea of boosting domestic oil production to lower gas prices. Why? To get a bunch of votes that he either already has in his pocket because these people think Orange Man bad, therefore all conservatives bad. Or they're just going to stay the f*** home because we want student loan forgiveness and free shit. You're mean, not it, giving it to us. If he keeps doing what he's doing, you're going to have the East Coast and the West Coast. And everyone in the middle is going to not play anymore, and the East Coast and Left Coast are, are not going to be able to communicate or travel between the, through the country. Yep. And then you're fucked. Then you're fucked. You remember the last time we had a Great Recession was when crude oil prices hit $150 a gallon, if you remember correctly. Yep. Crude oil prices rose as high as $130.50 a barrel Sunday evening, so we're well on our way. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and Listen, yet they it, still keep lying. It's already it's already happening. The snowball is already rolling down the hill, and they are not going to be able to stop it. Ugh. Not with what they're doing now. No, and, and look at the lies here. Jen Psaki, when it comes to U.S. energy production and how we achieve energy security, which you don't have because you f***ed it, it's important to look at the facts. One, production is up, rising, and approaching records. No, it's not. Yet Russia's actions still leave our consumers vulnerable. This is going to be the new line for as long as this conflict goes on. Yep. Completely forget about the fact that we've had economic troubles since the moment this f***ing Richard Potato took office. Absolutely correct. They're going to expect you to forget 
And, and and those of you who don't forget, you're expected to have cognitive dissonance because my partisanship. Absolutely correct. And I actually saw the other day that the production uh, in 2020, with all the lockdowns, with everything shut down, there was still more uh, barrels of oil out of the U.S. under Trump with all the lockdowns than there is under yep. Biden in 2021. Oh, uh, and so the, it's, so it's, it's, oh. it's it, 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 it couldn't be more clear. Yeah. yeah, I know. And look at the gall of this stupid bitch. The only way to protect U.S. over long term is to become energy independent. Oh. You mean like we used we to be? We already were! We were! You took it away! You directly attacked the energy sector, re-regulated everything to f***ing shit, and this is where it got us. Oh my god, this is making me so bad. We're exactly what the Germans did. The Germans are really smart. Right? And they're, they're good at shit. They're good at making things work. They tried to go all green, and now look at them. They're f***ing. They're more f than we are. Their heating bills this winter are ridiculous. Yep. You know, and then the whole Russia thing, and yeah, this is great. These people do not care energy. about about normal human beings who are worrying about you know not freezing it. Yeah. Yep. They're already trying to blame the inflation numbers for February on Russia, and Russia didn't attack until like the end of the month. <laughs> what the fuck? And th that's going to be the line going forward. We're just going to blame everything for the last year and some change on Russia, even though they had nothing to do with it. I gotcha. Yeah, and there's going to be people out there stupid enough to believe it. That's the sad part. I mean, 81 million scoops of ice cream isn't the accurate amount, but there was enough people to cause a problem. Enough real people who aren't, you know, dead or in a coma. I got gotcha. you. Just saying. And we were talking before about how, you know, if we're still accepting oil from Russia, we're financing their war effort, despite the fact we're allegedly condemning them. Absolutely right? correct. Even though people in the White House are just two to the sky, three sheets to the wind, happy as fuck that this is happening because it's distracting from all of their failures. They love it. They love that Ukrainians are dying. Well, listen, um, when I've always, how many times have I said this? You can't hide the fucking numbers. And guess what? You, you could have the, you could pay all the media off. You could do whatever the fuck you want. But when people go to the pump and they're paying $120 for 12 gallons of gas, you could fuck off. Yes, you can. That's the numbers. <laughs> oh. Bottom line. We're still accepting oil from Russia mm -hmm. instead of exercising the energy independence that we used to have not even two years ago. And China is financing Russia's war engine. Mm -hmm. U.S. imports from China for 2021. Here you go. China is the leading maritime importer for the United States by an impressive margin, accounting for 42% of all goods shipped to the U.S. We need... To stop that. Yeah. We need to be able to make our own shit, and we need to start tariffing the fuck out of some of these hostile fucking you know, countries. Yep. In fact, cut them off completely. Yeah. If I ran the show, every fucking container ship coming from China would get turned around, I'd say fuck off, and I would start pouring money into our economy so companies could build their own shit. That, so they don't need to fucking bring the shit from fucking China. Those motherfuckers have been juggling their their currency like Bozo the Clown. Yeah. And they, they're they able to do that because they have billions of people that they can work to fucking death for almost nothing. The amount of money that the U.S. gives to China every year for, what was that, 42% of all the goods that are shipped to the U.S. every year mm -hmm. is half a trillion dollars. Wow. So $500 billion. $500 billion over that. Wow. Uh, yeah. So once again, the U.S. financing Russia's war effort by still buying oil from them when we could have just left Keystone alone and kept drilling and, and Biden didn't have to illegally sit on drill permits, which is exactly what he's doing. Absolutely correct. Um. And then we're giving half a trillion dollars to China, and China is directly financing Russia's war effort as well. And yet somehow we're supposed to believe that Joe Biden and the leftoids and the heads up in Congress really care about Ukrainians. Okay, so I'm going to put this in Grant's, 
grunt speak terms for you. What we're basically doing is stretching out our own fucking penis, sending it around the world to come out back the other side and hit us in the ass. <laughs> yep. And then when they're done, we suck the tip. Yeah. You remember in Star Wars when Emperor Palpatine was, you know, he was the made the chancellor of the Imperial Senate and created a clone army, yeah, yeah. and he was also the Sith Lord in charge of Count Dooku mm -hmm. and the insurgency. Does that sound familiar to anybody? Yeah, actually. And yet, our American media wants us to throw throw away everything we know, throw all of our support behind Ukraine, which, by the way, George Soros and Hillary also support, so that should let you know where your loyalty should lie. And we're going to just whitewash the U.S.'s involvement in all of it. Absolutely correct. Because, you know, it... it was it Russia that forced Ukraine to denuclearize with promise of help that never came? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> we convinced the Ukraine to give us all of their nuclear warheads in return for we will protect them if Russia ever fucking invades. Well, guess what's happening today? And oh, my God, the United States is not keeping their word. It's not like that's Shocker. never happened before to, let's say, uh... Poland. Northern Iraq, the Poland, Kurds. yeah, Poland, 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 World War II. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we make I mean, all these promises and we break them. Why do people keep doing business with us if we keep doing that? It's bullshit. Yeah. And here's another thing: if a nuke is dropped within the United States, all of those social programs are gone. Yep. And all of those ladies out there with a, a farm full of kids from a whole crop of dudes that they don't even talk to anymore <laughs> are screwed, lewd, and tattooed. And you will see them on the street corners by in droves. Yep. Doesn't that sound appetizing? It does. A bunch of 40 and 50-year-old women running alongside your car. I'll suck your dick. I'll do whatever you want. <laughs> like, nope. Good. See you later. They're going to be jockeying for position with the homeless dude who wants to wash your windshield. <laughs> I'm t I, listen, I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you what happened. Because I've been all over the world, and I see what the like the incredibly impoverished people do. Yeah. Because there's no safety net there. Like Venezuelan women going over to sell yeah. their ass in Colombia. Yeah. Because guess what? You know, if you think it can't happen here, you're out of your fucking mind. I could just imagine that. Like. It's not even like a glory hole anymore. It's just a chain link fence and these chicks. So they can like, like a bug, just like a sea cucumber. Can you imagine like, that? <laughs> Let me back up on this one over there. I now. mean, they got one in each hand, one in their mouth, and cars are driving by. You got chains? Spare chains? <laughs> Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you'd like to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, consider making a donation on Locals, Patreon, or Subscribestar.